Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be ranking all of my face palettes. I'm really excited for this one because if you've been with my channel for a bit, you know that I love a good face palette. I love having everything, most of everything that I need all in one spot. They're also really good for traveling, which just 2020 just shot that in the face, so that's not happening. But I've as someone who grew up traveling and moving a lot, I just, I always loved face palettes. So I have uh, like a medium sized collection, I think I have like 15 or 20-ish face palettes. So I'm gonna go through, talk about all the palettes that I have and rank them. Now for the most part, these palettes, I define a face palette as something that contains at least two different face products and that I reach for primarily as a face palette. So if it's a product kind of like this one, let me grab it. So like this palette, it's mainly eyeshadow and two highlights. Like this I wouldn't consider a face palette because mainly I'm going to be using like the eyeshadows in here. And then these could also be used as eyeshadows. So I don't consider this a face palette. It's probably just an eyeshadow palette. Whereas a face palette to me is like this Smashbox one where we've got bronzer, contour, highlighter, blush. There are a couple of exceptions to this rule, which we'll talk about once we get to those palettes. Let's... There are a couple of exceptions to this rule, which I will talk about once we get to those palettes, but let's just go ahead and jump in. I'm trying to make my ears, try to match my ears to my eyes to my blush today. I don't know, I think it's cute. So like the other videos in the series so far where I've ranked blushes and foundations, I'll throw those up in the cards if you missed them, I'm going to be starting at the bottom of the list and working my way up to number one. So the first, the bottom of my list, the first ones we're gonna talk about, are kind of a tie. It's because I really haven't used these and I bought them specifically for the face palette, though they are majority highlighters, not highlighters, the majority eyeshadows. And these are from Profusion. I have the Golden Nudes palette, which I believe these were supposed to be um, dupes for the Tarte version of this palette. You'll see it later on. I've got the original Tarte palette in my list. So this is the Golden Nudes version, which comes with a blush, uh, bronzer, and a highlight, and then a bunch of eyeshadows. And then we have the Pink Nudes palette, which is basically the same thing, except with pinky tones of uh, blush, blush lighter, blush topper, and highlighter. I really like Profusion products, especially their face and base products. I have a couple other palettes from them that you'll see in this video alone, uh, but like these ones in particular, I don't know why, I just wasn't as drawn to these as I thought I would be, because I loved the Tarte version so much and I thought maybe an affordable dupe would be even better, but yeah, I've used them both a few times, and even though they're in my face palette drawer, they're never ones that I think of that I really want to reach for. You know, even though like this has some really pretty pink shades in it, it's just not exactly what I'm wanting or looking for in a face palette. So that's kind of why, honestly, I picked these up back when I did a huge, I did a big profusion order because I wanted to do uh, a big review of a bunch of different profusion palettes, and these two were just kind of like... Eh. So they're on the bottom. Next we have, I believe, my only cream <laughs> face palette, and this is the ABH Cream Contour Kit in the shade Fair. I actually picked this up a year or two ago at a TJ Maxx, so this was like cheap. It was less than $20, and it's a full cream contour kit. As you can see from like my finger smudges, I've only used three of the shades. And when I take the extra time, to do this kind of cream contouring. It looks nice, but honestly, I don't think it's really worth the time. <laughs> but I keep this around because it is my only like cream contour product. And I thought it'd be nice to have one around in case I ever decided I wanted to do that. Or as I'm trying to reach out and branch out into more different types of products like cream blush, I thought it'd be nice to have something like this around just in case I wanted to dabble. I'm glad I got it on sale. I never would have bought this full price, ever. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, eh. Just another just eh. we're gonna get better it's the list is gonna get better as we go on I swear it's not gonna be this boring <laughs> next we actually have a palette that like when I first got this I loved it and I wouldn't stop talking about it and now I just think it's kind of meh and it's not like amazing <laughs> this is from Too Faced this is the natural face palette and I loved this when I first got it I loved the blushes I really love the highlighters I thought the bronzer was a little bit too muddy and dark for my skin tone but if I went in with a light hand and I really blended it out it could look nice I don't know I just I feel like I got kind of bored of this and I didn't really know what else to kind of do with it I gotta say the packaging is gorgeous I love that it opens up all the way you've got a really nice size mirror 
but again, I feel like I just got bored of these shades and of the formula. The highlights, I have to say, the highlighters in here are gorgeous. They are beyond stun, like stunning. They're gorgeous. And the blushes are pretty good. I really like the hot pink one. It's not as pigmented as you would expect. But yeah, I feel like what really prevents me from reaching for this more are these bronzers. Because they do, even like with my, with me working my hardest, they do look muddy. So yeah, two thirds of the palette is great. And then yeah, just that one third. All right, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. This is technically not a face palette per se, but I use it as a face palette and I consider it a face palette. So I'm calling it a face palette. It's actually an ABH Glow Kit. This is the ABH Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. And this is what the palette looks like. Now looking at it, it's of course very dark. These are all originally highlighters. So this is a great resource for people who want highlighters who have deeper complexions. But I remember getting, I don't know why I really bought this at first because like obviously I can't use most of these shades as highlighters, right? Well, I saw a tutorial from someone here on YouTube. I honestly, I cannot remember, I cannot remember her name. I will link the video up in the cards, but she did her makeup routine and she pulled out this palette and used this as a contour and this as a bronzer. And I was like, yo, <laughs> I have this palette and I never really use it. I should totally try that. And I tried it and it looked gorgeous. Like you have to go into the light hand and really blend it out, but don't knock it till you try it. I really liked these shades, bronzer and contour. I was like, oh, especially in the summer, like back when I would tan. Like if I was a little bit darker and then I used these, it was just glowy and beautiful and it's fantastic. And so if I use this as a blush and I use this as a highlight, this is basically a face palette for me. Ideally, I would have a little bit more sun and not be this pale to use this, but I'm so happy that I found a different way to use this palette and it looks gorgeous. And so yeah, I definitely consider this a face palette. I I think I bought this full price. Yeah, I've got like almost every ABH glow kit because I really like the highlighter formula, but I think this is probably one of the only ones where I would pay full price just because I can use these for many other things as opposed to the other highlighter shades and uh, glow kits where it's like they're basically just highlighters. So I really like this. <laughs> and I feel like that was so indicative of like older school YouTube was like not just talking about products and stuff, but like different ways to use things. And I just I thought that was so creative and I loved it and I'm just so happy that I found that. All right, so now we're getting we're past like the halfway point, maybe a little bit less than halfway, but we're getting into the products I really like now. Now, if you've been with my channel for a little bit, I think you'd be surprised to see this palette so far down on this list, but that's mainly because of the price and because there are so many other palettes that work just as well, if not better, that aren't as expensive. <laughs> And this is the Hourglass Ambient Light Edit Unlocked palette. I loved this palette. I love the face powders. I love the highlighters. I love the the bronzer, the contour-y kind of shade, and then the two blushes. And I really like the formula of these Hourglass powders. It's this low because A, it's expensive. It's like $80, and these are limited editions, so you can really only get them around holiday time. B, it's this far down because their shade range is trash. Like, they, I was happy the year this came out because they did come out with two different palettes and I thought they would be better for two different skin tones but in the video I did comparing the two palettes, I'll have to link it up in the cards, it's from a while ago but in the video I did, I was shocked that I could use both palettes because I thought one was going to be for more deeper complexions and one to be for more fair complexions but th no, I can literally use both palettes and this is me. So I'm upset about that. I think for how prestige our class is and how expensive their shit is, they should have a better shade range by now. Especially when you're charging $80 for a palette. So I, I really like the formula and I'm probably going to use up what I have. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything else from Hourglass and then nothing is really catching my eye. Any, I mean, at least anytime recently. But I really like this palette and, and I like it. <laughs> Next we have a, a newer-ish addition to my collection. I got this a few months ago, like in 2020 at some point. This was actually a free add-on from Ulta. I placed an online Ulta order I think back in January, February, and I ordered some more of the um, Makeup Revolution, the stick foundation, and the concealers. I think I've panned most of the concealers by now, but because of that order I hit a certain threshold. They gave me an entire like goodie bag of extra makeup forever free things they had like a sale going on or something and one of those was this full-size palette this is the makeup revolution pro hd powder contour this 
shocked me with how much I liked this this palette. The the shades are just really nice. I feel like this is a nice assortment for a contour palette, and I hope they have like a deeper skinned one. I feel like this is more um this is more geared towards lighter skin tones. I hope they have a deeper complexion one because I actually really, really like these powders. You have like a little highlighter here. You've got some matte face powders you can use for matte highlighting. You've got some nice deep, not deep, well deep for me. You've got some nice darker uh, bronzing tones and contouring tones over here. And then you've got a nice banana if you want to use this for under your eyes. As you can see, I've hit pan in this because I really, really like this palette. It's super affordable. I mean, I got it for free, so it shocked me because I kind of thought, honestly, I judged it because I thought, well, if they're throwing it in for free in certain things, I wasn't really expecting a lot out of it, but <laughs> it's so good. So I think this is really worth it and I am just so happy with how this turned out and you get a lot of product It's a big palette that you get a lot of product with and it's really affordable Next on this list we have another profusion palette. I told you there was going to be another one This is their highlight and contour one as you can see it is beat up because I really like this palette this reminds me of the three pan smashbox contour palette I'll throw a picture up right here so you could see it. This is like a total dupe for that formula. It is incredible. I love it. You've got a, a matte highlight, a bronzer, and a contour shade that works really well for my complexion, and you've got these toppers. So you can do like a, a glowy bronze contour topper. You've got a nice blushy kind of shade, and then you've got a nice regular highlight. And it's it's so nice. And this is the, the palette one. So they, they do have different shades. So it does get deeper. This is just the lightest version of the palette. They have, I think, at least two or three versions of this. So you can look and see if maybe the deeper ones would work for different complexions. But this is so affordable. It is awesome. I, I just love this. And I have to say, they do have like plastic packaging but I do like how sturdy it feels it feels a lot more sturdy than a lot of other like cheaper kind of plastic packaging like wet and wild wet and wild I love their products but of course they have to go cheap in the packaging to keep the prices that low this feels nice and sturdy of course the the top is all scratched up and everything but I don't care because this is a great product and it's hella affordable and again I've hit pan in this I just really like this and I really love the quality of profusions face products all right guys, so we have five palettes left. We are now at the top five. So number five on this list is this big mega box. This is the Butter Box from Physicians Formula. And I'm really glad that I got this. I'm pretty sure I got this on sale. So this originally, the whole thing, I'll show you everything inside. This retails for around 40 something dollars. I didn't get it when it first came out. I'm subscribed to their emails. So I always get emails when there's things on sale or get coupons. This went on sale for like $23 and I picked it up then. And this is a steal for $23. And let me show you everything you get. So this big box, we open it up and you get all of these eyeshadows and then every shade of the butter bronzer right over here. Then we open this up and you get every shade of the butter highlight. And then here is a mirror. So it actually like, if you lay it all out, big mirror. On the other side, you've got lip glosses and lipsticks. And then if I can open it up all the way, you have every butter blush right here. And I got all of this for $23. It's a steal. I already loved the butter bronzer formula. I've actually panned an entire butter bronzer before, but I had never tried out the eyeshadows. And so going into this, I knew it was gonna be a slight risk because I really only knew for sure that I liked two products, and that was the bronzers and the highlighters. I had never really tried the blushes before. I never really tried the lip products, or at least this formula of the lip product before, and the eyeshadows. But having used this and having traveled with this many times over the last year, I freaking love this palette. It is incredible. I am so happy I got this. I believe this was limited edition, so I don't know if it's still available, but I am just so happy that I got this. Only downsize I can say, and reason why it's not higher up on the list, is I don't know how long these lip products will last. They aren't really covered except for by the other, you know, portions of the box. So I don't know how long they'll last before they may or may not go bad. But worst case scenario, I can always just take them all out and then clean out that section of the box and then leave it be. But everything else, I'm so happy that I got. This is literally like having your own 
like Sephora at your vanity, like getting ready. And if you are indecisive with your makeup when you're traveling, this was incredible because you open up the mirror, you basically have your entire vanity right in front of you. It's gorgeous. I got it at a steal of a price and I, I freaking love it. <laughs> I do. So I'll see if I can still find this online. I think it's probably limited edition, but I, I love this box so much. Next we have a palette that I've loved since the day I got it, mainly because it caters to my love of peachy blushes, and that is a Smashbox Ablaze face palette. I did a video way back in the day that was so bad, like it was so washed out you couldn't even see my face. Back when I was still struggling with getting lighting in this attic, it wasn't. It was a terrible video. I might have to redo that video because it was terrible, but this is the face palette and I love it. <laughs> you've got highlights, you've got my favorite shade of blush, and then there's an amazing uh, bronzer and contour shade. And this, I have to say, I have to pull this out again. I think I'm going to pull it out for July and use it now. Because back when I first got this and fell in love with it, I was like three shades darker than I am now. So I don't know, like I'm sure the highlighters and blushes will work. I don't know if the bronzer and contour will work as well as it was when I fell in love with it. So I need to pull this back out and use it but I freaking loved this palette. I love the formula of Smashbox's face powders. I found some dupes for the formula, but this palette itself, I saw it and I was like, immediately I have to get this. I fell in love with this palette, mainly because of these, these blushes. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And I love how compact it is. It is very thin, it is very sturdy, and it has a nice size mirror. So again, perfect for travel and even perfect for just storing at your house because it's so nice and small and compact and sturdy. So keep an eye on my um, every everyday makeup baskets. I do those every month for Shop My Stash. So keep an eye. I'm probably going to pick that out for my July basket. And then uh, the next month, what is it? It's <laughs> August. Ooh, I've got pudding for brains today. And the next month, I'll do a quick review on what I found when I used it over the next month. Okay, we're in the top three. Palette number three is again another Profusion palette. I told you guys, I really like the Profusion palettes. And this one is the Big Sculpt and Glow palette. And I believe this might be, I don't see a number on here. So this might be only one shade range for this, which would suck because this fits my complexion perfectly. But I know it's not going to work for a lot of other people. But this big palette came with a brush here that I immediately got rid of because it really wasn't a great brush. But We've got all of these highlighters down here, really bright highlights that I can use on my skin tone. This one is a matte one, and then this one is a shimmery one. This one's shimmery as well. And then down here, you've got blushes, but they're like shimmery blushes, so they're more like blush toppers, but you can use them as just blush. Over here, we've got a darker highlight, not really that dark, but darker for like my complexion. And then on the bottom, I'm pretty sure these are the same shades that are in the highlight and contour one palette, just in a bigger palette. And I love this because this is where I first fell in love with the formula from Profusion. And I like the variety that I get here. It is a bit big. I kind of wish they had cut out the brush because the brush is trash. If they had cut that out and made it the size of just like that, they could be a lot better. But I love the formula. I love the variety that I get in this palette. It's You really can't beat it for being so inexpensive and by inexpensive i mean these are less than ten dollars this was less than fifteen dollars and you get a lot of product in here actually i found this one at marshall's this was 6.99 at marshall's these i bought from the profusion website so they were a little bit more 6.99 at marshall's though for all of this yeah honestly ugh. if you're looking for something that's really affordable but really good when it comes to face complexion products like bronzer, contour, highlight, blush, profusion. Because for the most part, a lot of their products have a better shade range and they're hella affordable, even when you buy them from their website like this one. Or if you can, I don't know uh, how your state or your area of the world is doing right now, but I know a lot of places are reopening up. Keep an eye out at Marshall's if you happen to be around one, because these tend to be mixed in with all those other makeup goodies there. All right, our final two. Number two, coming in at a very close number two, because this is again a newer addition to my collection. I've had it for a few months now. This is from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, and this is the lighter version of their contour book. First of all, let's just appreciate this packaging. This is gorgeous. I, I love the entire aesthetic of Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. Nice big mirror up here, then a big contour book. 
like the name says. At first, I looked at this. I, I really wanted it, but when I got it in my hands, I was like, hmm what am I going to do with this? Like I saw these like shades up here. I was like, I don't know if that's going to work for me. They look gorgeous. <laughs> they look really pretty. Everything in this row can be used as a blush. Everything down here is like your traditional kind of uh, warm contour. And then everything up here, while it looks like dark, it's a really nice, cool contour. And it looks very pretty. <laughs> if anything, I use a mixture of these two shades and then this one to highlight. Um, down here, you can see I used a lot of these shades right here for my um, bronzing and then over here for a nice deep contour. And then the blushes are just really pretty. <laughs> I, I adore this palette. This is an all matte palette, so if you don't like a lot of shimmer in your face products, this is great. I did buy this off of Mercari, so I did not pay full price for this. I think full price for this is $52. I paid around $36. Actually, no. I think full price for this is around $72. And I paid right around $35 or $40 for it. So it is a bit pricey, but it is an indie brand, and after buying it secondhand and using it, I can say that I would have happily bought this full price and be happy with the amount of product that I got and the quality of the product. I definitely want to purchase more from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I have purchased two of or two more of their newer eyeshadow palettes and I will be placing another order. I kinda wanna just get the other contour book. Even though it's made for deeper complexions, I just, I kind of want it. <laughs> so I'm thinking about that because the formula is spectacular. It looks amazing on my skin. It lasts for a full day. It's pigmented. It is so pigmented. More pigmented than I'm kind of used to for face products, but you get used to it fairly quickly and it just makes these last a lot longer, which I do think justifies the price. All right, so we're here. Number one face palette. Palette. I've had this for years. It's been like literally my go-to whenever I travel anywhere for anything. It has been one of my favorite formulas ever for bronzer and contour. This is the original Tarte Clay Play Face Palette. This got discontinued, unfortunately, which I was so sad about because this is like the best palette ever. This is what it looks like. You've got a lot of eyeshadows here, mainly neutrals. You've got this gorgeous packaging, which I have to say, I thought I'd be annoyed because it would look dirty. It's actually fairly easy to clean and it just looks really nice and sleek. I like the eyeshadows. You've got like these little trios you can use to put a quick look together. I loved traveling with this for work when I had to go to work events. I went to a week long um, work conference last February. February 2019 and I brought this. I had everything I needed. I didn't need to bring any other eyeshadows or brow products because there's a black here so I can use this in my brows. Just an amazing multitasking palette. So that's the eyeshadows. Up here you've got some amazing, amazing powders. They're just... I've never really understood what people say like when they said a powder was creamy and blendable until I tried these out. They are creamy. They feel incredible and they're so pigmented oh my god i freaking love these so we have a light kind of bronzer right here you've got a deeper more warm toned kind of orangey bronzer over here and then you've got a really really deep bronzer or a contour depending on your skin tone the newer version of this palette has a blush honestly i would i would rather have the rest of my face like this in this palette and then bring a blush because other than blush and highlight i have everything in this palette so i don't like the newer palette because I've heard mixed reviews, people saying it's not the same formula as this one. And then personally, I'd rather have these face powders in a palette rather than having an extra blush that I may or may not like or want or need. So I like that I have this. This is basically all of my bases are covered. I've got brows, eyeshadow, face powders, because some of these light ones can also use as a quick face powder touch-up if you need. And then you've got bronzer, and then you've got contour. I liked having all of this in one spot so I could pick out different blushes because blushes you've got different undertones, different colors. You might want a pink blush one day or an orange blush the other day. Whereas like these kind of powders and these products, they're basically the same day in and day out once you find shades that work for you and that you like. On top of all of that, the packaging is stunning. I love this. It's sturdy and big mirror. <laughs> Only downside is that it doesn't stand up on its own. So if you are going to use it in a hotel room or something, you do have to like hold it open or prop it up on something to use it. But it is huge. I love the mirror and I just can't get over how much I love this palette. I am so sad that it got discontinued. 
I actually seriously thought about buying a backup of this when I saw it was discontinued, which is ridiculous because I haven't even hit pan on any of these yet, you know? But I'm so happy that I got this and I got to experience it. I'm so sorry if you wanted this. I don't know if it's gonna, still going to be available on like Mercari or Poshmark, but, um, Poshmark or Poshmark, uh, but it's been so old now. It's been discontinued for a while now. I don't know if anything's going to be good. That's just, I mean, despite the fact saying that like I've had this for a long time and the powders still feel and work good for me. So I don't know how long it is until it actually would expire, but I love this palette so much. This is basically everything, just about everything that I'm looking for in a good all-in-one multitasking face palette. So there we have it. Those are all of my face palettes ranked from least favorite to absolute all-time holy grail favorite. Let me know down below what your favorite face palette is and if you tend to lean towards more affordable face palettes or a bit more extravagant maybe luxury face palettes because I've never tried. There are some brands I've never tried before like Natasha Denona. I've never tried one of her face palettes and I don't know. I like face palettes so I feel like maybe I could get a bit out of my comfort zone and try some other new things. So if you have any other suggestions too, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.